Welcome to Brainwaves, the channel where we explore fascinating topics and feed your curiosity. In this episode, we are going to dive deep into the world of opals. Found all across the world, these beautiful gems have fascinated people for thousands of years. Interestingly, the process involved in the formation of opals is something that has eluded geologists for centuries. And while legends and myths have often played a significant role in shaping the perception of opals, the science behind these gems continues to dazzle scientists and researchers alike. Join us as we explore the ancient history, religious significance, cultural symbolism and modern-day artistry associated with opals. The formation of opals is a fascinating geological process that takes places in subterranean locations. Typically, opals form in cracks and cavities within igneous or sedimentary rocks. Over time, Due to the passage of water through these rocks, silica-rich fluids find their way into these cavities. The layers of silica gradually build up over time and eventually solidify to form opal. This process can take millions of years, and the final result is a unique gemstone that bears the beautiful iridescence that opals are famous for. Scientists are still studying the process to unlock more of its mysteries, but one thing is for sure. The natural forces that create opals are truly mesmerizing. Water plays a crucial role in the formation of opals. These unique gems are formed when water carrying dissolved silica enters crevices or cracks in rocks. The dissolved silica is then deposited and gradually builds up to form tiny spheres. These are what give opals their iridescence. As more and more layers of silica are deposited, the spheres become larger and more organized eventually forming the beautiful opal that is so prized in the jewelry industry. While water is absolutely essential to the formation of opals, other factors such as temperature, pressure, and the presence of certain minerals can also influence the final outcome. There are several different types of opals formed by different geological processes. The most common type is the precious opal, which is formed within sedimentary rocks such as sandstone or shale. It's characterized by its iridescent colors and is prized for its unique beauty. Another type is the common opal, which is plain and lacks the iridescence of precious opals. It is typically found within volcanic rocks and is often used for industrial purposes such as in construction or for filtration systems. Boulder opals are another type, which are formed when opal forms within crevices in ironstone boulders. Interestingly, Boulder opals often retain the appearance of the original host rock, which adds to their unique aesthetic. There are also black opals, which are characterized by their dark background color and brilliant iridescence. These are found primarily in Australia and are highly prized in the jewelry industry. And finally, fire opals are bright red or orange in color and are formed in volcanic rocks. They are typically found in Mexico and are also highly sought after for their beauty. Precious opals are the most famous type of opals and are known for their iridescent colors that change depending on the angle of observation. These opals are typically found in Australia and are formed in sedimentary rocks such as sandstone or shale. Depending on the color pattern, precious opals can be further classified into several subtypes such as white opal, black opal, boulder opal, and crystal opal. White opal has a light, milky appearance and is characterized by its pastel-colored iridescence. Black opal, on the other hand, has a darker black background color and is famous for its vibrant, bright colors. Boulder opals are formed on the edges of ironstone boulders and are known for retaining the appearance of the original host rock, which add to their unique aesthetic. Finally, Crystal opals are transparent or semi-transparent and are characterized by a colorless body with play of color. These precious opals are among the most beautiful and unique gems found in nature, and their beauty has captivated people for centuries. Common opals are a type of opal that lack the characteristic iridescence of precious opals. While they are not as valuable as precious opals, they are still used for a variety of industrial purposes. Common opals are typically found in volcanic rocks and are often used in construction, for filtration systems or as abrasive materials. The most common colors of common opals are white, gray, and brown, but they can also range from yellow to red. Regardless of their lack of play of color, common opals are still beautiful in their own right and are an important component of the gemstone industry. In addition to the precious and common opals, 
there are several specialty opals that are lesser known but equally fascinating. For example, hydrothane opals are a type of precious opal that can absorb water and change color or intensity when it does so. Harlequin opals, on the other hand, have a unique pattern that resembles a checkerboard or harlequin costume. Honey opals got their name from their rich, golden color and are found in Mexico. Andean opals are simply any opal found in the Andes Mountains, and are known for their deep green or blue colors. Finally, there are opal doublets and triplets, which are created by layering thin pieces of opal onto dark colored backings. These specialty opals are sought after by gemstone enthusiasts and collectors due to their unique properties and beauty. Opals have been valued and appreciated since ancient times. The ancient Greeks believed that opals were the tears of joy wept by Zeus, the king of the gods, and that opals bestowed prophetic powers upon those who owned them. The ancient Romans believed that opals were a symbol of hope, purity, and faithfulness, and often presented them as gifts to their loved ones. In India, opals were associated with the god of desire, Shiva. Even in ancient times, opals were seen as a precious gem and were used to create beautiful jewelry and other items. To this day, the appreciation for opals continues, and they remain one of the most popular gems in the world. Opals played an important role in Christian history and were highly valued during the medieval period. In Christianity, opals were seen as a symbol of purity, innocence, and hope. They were believed to embody the colors of the rainbow and the light of the heavens. Opals were often used to adorn religious objects such as crosses and chalices, and were also used as gifts for the clergy. The belief in the healing powers of opals was also prevalent in medieval Christian times, and they were often used in various remedies and potions. The significance of opals in Christian history demonstrates their enduring value and cultural importance. Opals have been featured in numerous medieval literature and folklore, often attributed with mystical properties and hidden meanings. In the Middle Ages, opals were believed to possess magical powers, providing the wearer with protection and luck. Some tales even suggest that wearing an opal could render one invisible. In the story of the knight Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, an opal is mentioned as one of the precious gems decorating the girdle of the Green Knight. Various tales also mentioned that opals were used as a ward against evil and protected the wearer from nightmares. Opals were also featured in medieval love stories, where they were given as tokens of love and fidelity. The influence of opals in medieval literature and folklore demonstrate their enduring appeal and their association with mystery and enchantment. Opals have been associated with bad luck throughout history, perhaps most famously in the novel, Anne of Geierstein by Sir Walter Scott. In the novel, the character Lady Hermione wears an opal and later dies after the gemstone loses its luster. This led to a widespread belief that opals were cursed and could bring bad luck to their owners. However, this superstition has been debunked over time, and many people today see opals as a symbol of hope and positivity. It's important to remember that like any gemstone, opals are simply objects and their power to bring good or bad luck is not inherent in them but rather a result of human superstition and belief. Despite their reputation for bringing bad luck, opals have also been seen as symbols of hope and positivity. Opals are said to contain all the colors of the rainbow, and each color has a symbolic significance. For example, red opals are associated with passion and energy, while blue opals are associated with calmness and serenity. The variety of colors contained within opals gives them a sense of diversity, and their ability to reflect different colors depending on the angle of light makes them a symbol of change and adaptability. Additionally, opals are believed to enhance creativity and imagination and are said to be beneficial for those in creative fields such as writers and artists. Overall, opals have a rich and complex symbolism, and their association with hope and positivity is a testament to their enduring value and appeal. Opals have been the subject of various myths and folklore throughout history. In ancient times, opals were said to possess the power of invisibility and were associated with creatures such as dragons and snakes. In other cultures, opals were believed to have healing and rejuvenating powers and were used to treat various ailments. Additionally, opals were often given as gifts to symbolize love and affection, and were associated with fidelity and commitment. 
The significance of opals in folklore and myth demonstrate their enduring appeal and their deep cultural importance. Cutting and polishing opals is a highly skilled craft that requires expert knowledge and precision. It is a labor-intensive process that involves cutting, shaping, and polishing the rough opal into a finished gemstone. The goal is to bring out the natural beauty and fire of the opal while also maximizing its value. The art of cutting opals has been used for hundreds of years, and gem cutters today use modern technology and equipment to create stunning gems. The process of cutting and polishing opals involves several steps, each of which requires expertise and attention to detail. The first step is to select the rough opal, which is then cleaned and examined for any inclusions or cracks. The rough opal is then carefully cut into its desired shape, taking into account the natural lines and patterns within the stone. Once the stone has been cut, the next step is to shape and polish it. This is done by gradually smoothing the surfaces of the stone using finer and finer grades of abrasive. The surface of the opal is then polished to a high shine using diamond or cerium oxide polish. The final step is to inspect the finished gemstone to ensure that it meets the desired specifications. Once an opal has been cut and polished, its value depends on several factors. One of the most important factors is the play of color within the stone, which refers to the way that light reflects off the internal structure of the opal to create a kaleidoscope of colors. The more vibrant and diverse the colors are, the more valuable the opal will be. The size and shape of the stone also affect its value, as larger and more uniform stones are rarer and therefore more valuable. In addition, the transparency of the stone, the quality of the cutting and polishing, and the absence of any inclusions or cracks all contribute to the value of the finished gemstone. The value of an opal can range from a few dollars to thousands of dollars depending on these factors. And that's all for today's episode about opals. We hope that you enjoyed learning about the incredible world of opals as much as we enjoyed sharing it with you. From their mesmerizing iridescence to the deep cultural symbolism associated with them, opals are truly fascinating gems that have captured the imaginations of people across the world for centuries. So next time you come across an opal, take a moment to appreciate its unique beauty and the natural forces that created it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos, and let us know in the comments what topic you'd like us to explore next.